let's have a look at Padre Pio's intervention on anxiety and on depression. After, and this is after he had gone to his eternal reward. So in other words, he's interceding now from heaven for us. Let's have a look at these two cases. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our channel following Padre Pio. Here we have a series of short stories on the life of our great Saint Padre Pio, who was a Capuchin friar, a mystic, and he was a tremendous miracle worker. So do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and to see what his intercession could do for you. We do encourage everyone to be part of our Padre Pio apostolate and it would be tremendous if you would help us by liking our video, sharing these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. And also do remember that every Friday we have a Mass where we bring your intentions, your prayer intentions, to Padre Pio at this Mass. All you have to do for that is to enroll your intentions and you can see the video on the end screen how to do that. Now in our first case, this case of mental anxiety and Pascal writes to us the following. I would like to share with you the grace that I received from Padre Pio. This was October 1987. So it's after Padre Pio's death, as we said, and I was very depressed and nearly had a nervous breakdown. And because of this mental state, my thoughts were now very threatening, she says, Pascal says, and very, very frightening as well. In my darkest moment, my mother introduced me to Padre Pio and told me that he would help me. And from that day onwards, I put all of my trust and faith in Padre Pio. And I prayed to him daily for a cure and for my state of mind, Pascal tells us. And then one night I woke up suddenly and I saw the figure of a monk right there in front of me in a brown robe with a beard. So it certainly sounds like Padre Pio. And we know that Padre Pio could bilocate during this life, but now it seems he's bilocating from heaven to, to, to meet her. The next morning I told my mother about this experience, she says, and she told me it was Padre Pio watching over me. And from that night onwards, I began to feel better. And today, Pascal says, I feel great. And I am now a dedicated follower of Padre Pio. The story was given to us by Pascale Presta. So this whole event took place in 1987, which was quite a while after Padre Pio's death, as we said. And of course, in the Catholic Church, we know we have this communion of saints. So we can pray for others and they can pray for us and even those in the church triumphant that is heaven they can pray for us from heaven and we can receive benefits of their prayers the next story this is about a nervous breakdown that a person had and the person tells us i made a novena to padre pio about four weeks ago for my brother and for the last seven years, he had been homebound after having suffered a nervous breakdown. And he had been on medication and seen a psychiatrist on a regular basis. So, of course, that's very good. Done the right thing, seeking medical help, the doctors, whatever they can do. And medical science was now giving this situation its best shot. So was that going to be enough? And then the, the author tells us, but instead of getting better, he was just getting worse. Her brother was going downhill. So we understand that nothing is impossible to God. But what was it going to take? Because a miracle, it seems, is really needed here. And perhaps someone very special would be able to intercede with our Lord and to receive the grace. So let's see if Padre Pio was going to be able to persuade our Lord the doctor of souls, to work this little miracle. She continues, he reached the point where he stopped going out completely. So he's now completely housebound. And we were all, of course, very concerned for him as he was just 34 years old and living the life of a recluse. And also he was 
entirely dependent on my elderly parents. So naturally this must be stressful for everyone and for her brother too. But these things of the mind, they just feed off themselves. We all know how it is. Worry perpetuates worry. And Padre Pio also understood this because one of his favorite sayings was pray, hope, and don't worry. So prayer and help, of course, they, they're beneficial. Worry just can eat away and be detrimental. And then I made the novena as suggested, the author of this article tells us. And then one day after the novena, now my mother did not know that I'd made this novena, the, she says. My mother informed me that my brother had actually gone out for a walk on his own a few days later. And then shortly after that, he also went for a drive with my mother. So something is definitely happening here. May seem a small step for us, but it was a giant leap, a giant step from where he was before. She assures us that. And in fact, his doctor was very impressed with his improvement and I was able to cut back on his medication. And now he goes out regularly for walks and he's actually driving alone and he's even talking now. He's going to be seeking employment shortly. And this is truly a miracle. And the name, the name is withheld in this article. So her brother has certainly reached the turning point, is now getting better. And we also know that saints themselves even often have to go through very difficult times, very torrid times. There's even something called the dark night of the soul. Up to that point, God has been giving them a lot of consolation, speaking to them regularly, and suddenly it stops. And they wonder, what is going wrong? What have they done wrong? How, why have they now been rejected? So even the saints feel like this from time to time. And of course, the devil gets in there with all sorts of temptations to try and lead them on the worst path possible. But somehow, even in these situations, the saints are able to grow spiritually. So we can obviously apply this in all of our lives. No matter how bad the situation may look, we are able to still grow spiritually and God will be with us through all of these things. Then next time on this channel, we're going to have a look at Padre Pio's connection to the angels. And particularly, we're going to focus in on the Archangel Saint Michael. And of course, he's the defender of Christians from the attacks of evil. So we're going to have a look at some interesting facts about Saint Michael. Do join us for that movie. And also, if you're not subscribed to our channel, if you're new to our channel, you must subscribe to our channel, please. And you have to click that reminder bell as well. Just after subscribing, there's a little reminder bell there. And then you will receive notifications of future videos that we make.